All right, at this point, we should have about this much done in your building, too. But um, we're going to have to put some of this together in order to see how things are fitting and where we have to kind of go with it. So in this case, I'm going to kind of build this one entire wall right here just off of these. Okay. So I'll take these two, shift D them, build, break them down. And I see right off the bat that I'm going to need another one down here. Again, I don't like to model a new piece. I'd rather reuse another piece over here. So I'll use this piece for the ground area. That'll keep the windows off the ground. Oops. One less shape to UV. Now that I have this, I can shift D it one more time, move the entire structure down. I want to try to make it so it's not, it's just barely touching here, just to seal it off just a little bit, but nothing that back faces are going to appear. All right, so there's my structure right there. I got six windows across, six windows at the bottom, uh, just like the picture. So is there anything else that we need to kind of work on? Yes, we have to work on, it's it's a little thicker on this, I think it's not, it's not a little thicker, but it does run the entire length on the side on this one. So uh, I could take and build a long one, but if I did that, it's going to be a useless piece. I would probably rather make something that looks like this. And this will be for maybe end pieces. Hmm. Nope, I'm going to make a new variant of the last one. So in this case, Duplicate all these, take the vertices, mesh combine them, take the vertexes and move them over. Now I'll need one for the other end too, so just to save myself some time, duplicate them like that. Just like that. And this side, I would have to do this side. And I have to make a decision like that, whether to do it this way or make a long strip. But in this case, you know, I could always use these models over. Let's say I wanted to make it so the windows are this far apart. Well, I can just use these two models over and over again. It's a handy piece. So. We'll see if I actually go through with it. Might keep it, I might not. But that does look a little bit more put together. Um, not like in the one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so it goes blah, 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 blah. I need one of these out of here. I would rather get rid of this one.
because it's less work. There we go. That looks better. All right, not too shabby. Again, I need to know what the old, the whole entire building looks like. I can always tear this apart and get chunks off of it later. Uh, so I'm going to combine the entire wall. Shift D it to duplicate it. Jump into my top view. And then I need, yeah, this one right here. So I'm going to rotate that around and then plug in the 180 in here. I'll just line those up as close as I can get them. And then move them out. I don't know what the spacing is going to be between them yet. Get rid of some of these chunks. And make sure I do a delete by type history here. There's a lot of models here. Okay, good. I like this. It's a good start. I need a thinner chunk for the side so I can run them this way. So I'll go mesh separate. This will take a minute. And I'm going to steal this entire row. Again, I'll combine those. Modify center pivot and shift D. Jump into my top view. And I have to just know where to rotate that at. So I'm just going to rotate it just a little bit this way. That way when I jump into my top view, it's at an angle which I know has to be... So 90 degrees this. Now we have to worry about back face culling, so what I'm going to do is put it right here. Good. I'll make variances here in, a, in the next video, but for right now I'm just looking at sizing. Okay, I want to I say three wide, maybe four. like that. Combine back all those. Make sure they're all combined. Modify center pivot. Move those out. This time I'm going to put one of these off to the side so I don't have to separate any. Another way you can do this is scale it negative. So I think a scale of a negative one here would just flip it around. So that's another way. Instead of rotating it, all right. So that wraps that part up. What I had to do is just make sure the pieces do fit together at the scale they're at now. I do really have to step back and look at this camera problem, whether it's a keyboard problem or a mouse problem. So I'm going to end it right here and then we'll pick it up in the next video where uh, we look at the roof. You should have your building put together by now too. So that means, you know, work all the way up to the process that I have now with your building. 
before you continue on with the videos. Alright, so I'll see you in the next one.